Hey there, Dance Plug. It's Ali Kona Bradford, and I'm here at the Feel Good Film Festival for the world premiere of the new movie, B-Boy. And here with me today is Rihanna Hartley and Matthew Simmons. They are co-writers, producer, actors, a little bit of everything in the movie. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the movie for those of us who may have not seen the trailer. I think actually that pretty much sums it up. You know, we're dancers ourselves, B-Boys and B-Girls. And I think what's great about this film is like, just like in hip hop culture, you make the most out of what you got and you work together. Yeah. And we did it all and we had a great time. Yeah, we wanted to make a movie uh, by dancers for dancers. So <laughs> it's got like this gritty feel that everyone, everyone can enjoy. You know, people that are common folk, people that really enjoy movies, people that like to feel good, people that like to laugh, people that like to smile, and people that enjoy dance. So tell me then, what was the main goal or message that you guys are trying to send to your viewers? Like, how do you want them to feel after they see this movie? Well, with this B-Boy, based on a true story, we really wanted to remind people that uh, this one dancer's experience, this one dancer's journey of, you know, following his heart and his passion, it's really universal. And so we encourage everybody to do that. If it's dance, if it's cooking, if it's filmmaking, and uh, yeah, feel good about it. So I have to ask you, you're a B-girl, right? B-girl divine. What's it like being a B-girl in a B-boy world, if you will? <laughs> <laughs> it's really awesome. It's really fantastic. Not even kidding. It's the greatest challenge, and it's a great community, and it makes you strong, and it makes you stand in your truth, and to be surrounded by really powerful, talented, creative dancers that are hot guys that that helps too. that's always awesome yeah, but do you yeah, yeah yeah awesome <laughs> but do you but do you see but do you ever feel like being a female that you ever have to prove yourself as far as it being more of a b-boy culture at least in the past it may have changed since then i believe yeah well with anything when you start out you have to go through these different levels of uh facing your own insecurities or your own you know like self-limiting beliefs right. and when you're surrounded by a bunch of powerful dudes it, it's in your face and you do have to step up to the plate but in the end you realize that it's really about overcoming your own stuff and it doesn't matter about if it's a room full of guys or a room full of women or animals it doesn't really matter <laughs> it's all about expressing yourself and that's where the the real strength and creativity comes from cool yeah. and so wait i have to ask you what's your role in this movie because i know you're kind of like the villain guy right yeah i play bullet if this was karate kid i'd be johnny the bad guy going for sweeping the leg <laughs> but uh, I tried not to judge the character, you know, I tried not to play a bad guy. I'm more just someone that has a problem with someone coming on their scene and starting a scene. So really the read the way I approach Vicious is more like a what are you doing on my scene kind of thing. Not a personal I don't like you kind of thing. So do you experience that a lot though in the b-boy world, b-girl? Really there is a lot of beef and that's what we tried to represent. We tried to bring, you know, delve into the real culture of it because it is kind of a, a hardcore, I don't know, testosterone driven environment. You were saying like there aren't a lot of B-girls. We're happy when chicks rep it. We actually put a lot of girls in this movie, a lot of hardcore B-girls. But it is a male dominated thing and there is a lot of uh, a lot of turmoil in it as far as old school, new school, battles, attitude. The whole thing is really based on attitude. Okay, so for anybody who wants to get into the B-boy or B-girl culture, what's your best advice? Go for it. <laughs> Find a mentor. Don't be scared to fall on your head. <laughs> <laughs> you do that a lot, right? Falling on your head. Cool. Well, where can people see this movie? Because for those of us who couldn't make it to this premiere, how can other people access it? Well, they can get more information on Facebook at facebook.com slash bboythemovie. And uh, we're also on Facebook. You know, you can reach out to us. We are really collaborative. And the process of making this film really showed us how important that is. That even if you identify with something and you're like, this is what it is and this is how it has to be portrayed. When you work with other people and you kind of express everyone's vision, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, we're open to work with other filmmakers and other dancers. So hit us up. Well, we are on, I was gonna say, we are on danceplug.com. So here's a good time for you to plug yourself in. What's your Twitter? How can people follow you? Oh, well, they want to follow us on YouTube. Because okay. we post a lot of things on there. You can check it out. CT Vicious is the channel, and you could subscribe. Uh, we do a lot of interviews and a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. So check it out. We'll make you laugh. For sure. Well, thank you guys so much. Good luck with your movie. I'm Ali Kona Bradford. This is DanceFlug.com. Get plugged in. <laughs>